Our ARGB three packs and the ROG addressable LED strip. So all in all, this gives you total of eight ARGB, which is one ARGB header on the motherboard is not enough. Here are the things we need to control the ARGB lights into the Cooler Master software. All these parts came with the Master Liquid ML360R RGB. And here is the ARGB hub where we're going to connect everything. This is the USB that goes to your computer, to your motherboard. Okay. And it comes with the adapter so you can connect this one directly to your motherboard. This will this is the actual control for the software. USB and this is SATA we will connect this later to the power supply 
and here are the ARGB ports 1, 2, 3, 4 nothing in the other side we're not going to use the other side there's another ARGB and this this goes directly to the motherboard but we're, go we're not going to use this okay and here is the ARGB splitter one end then the other end has five ARGB now look at this hub it only has four ports for the ARGB okay so we're going to connect this one to the hub and this is where you're going to need the adapter so you can connect it here and the other and the other adapters you will connect it to the fence so I have three remaining ARGB ports on my hub and five total of eight and this will be good enough for our six ARGB fans one LED strip and the ARGB for the Master Liquid 360 ML 360R RGB okay and here again goes directly to the motherboard So all we gotta do is plug it in into our tower. So again, this one goes right there in my motherboard. Then connect the male USB to the female USB port. That is from the, we connected from the motherboard. Here are the four ARGB from two fans on top, one fan on the rear, and the last one is from the Master Liquid AIO. I will use the splitter for this. And there you have it. Now I have one more. I will connect this to my ROG LED strip. And here is the last three from the front fans. I've connected the adapter so I can plug it to the hub. And there you have it. I've used the four ARGB ports. This three is from the front three fans and this one is from the splitter. Goes into five. Only thing I need to connect is the SATA cable from the power supply. And there you have it guys. Everything is now connected. This will now allow us to control the ARGB lights into the Cooler Master program. Here's how to get the program. Go to Cooler Master website. Click on search on the upper right, type the model of our AIO ML360R, click on the picture, scroll down, go to specifications, and next to specifications, click on downloads, and under software, you'll see the Master Plus program to control the ARGB lights but follow this note please manually update firmware before installing master plus the firmware is this one the second line ARGB LED control firmware after you install this one then install the master plus click on download
after download and installing open the program and you will get this screen spectrum slow going to tree four and the fastest let's try reload Recoil I'm using the Armory Crate Aura program to control the light for the motherboard for the RAM and the ARGB on the motherboard Let's try breathing This one is sick. everything I guess no I could be wrong never mind fill flow oh I like this one too rainbow can go to fast slow fast and our f and my very favorite spectrum All the lights are showing all at the same time. Last thing we haven't tried is the customization. I guess because we haven't configured the fans over here. Over here. Uh, here. Let's try this one real quick. A1. Here. Okay. Okay. 
Yaitu uh, MF120R Right here Oh sorry MF MF 120R There you go MF 120R ARG Okay Now should click should click this A2 first and then drag the MF120 There you go Click on A3 drag another fan A4 drag another fan just to fill them up now let's try see if we can customize here we go oh interesting uh, i see a1 is just for this remember uh i connected the splitter to the one over here three fans and then the AIO so all I can configure is this four and the LED strip so one two three four uh, five sorry so LED one let's say yellow no A1 A1 here there you go red yellow green nice red again yellow again green should have chosen the brightest red wow nice this is the first time i've tried this program to be honest You won't believe me how much I've been through this configuration. Uh, hope you can guys see. Uh, let me turn off the lights, see if it will help. Okay, so look at this colors they're faint I would assume because we're using a splitter it's not individual that's probably why so I might just get out of the customization and go to the default presets so there you go guys I like this. 